Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead in East Fork Christmas Tree Farms. Today is a little bit different. I'm sitting at my dining room table. I just took my Christmas tree down to be recycled. It's the end of the Christmas season. I'm going to talk about recycling Christmas trees in a little bit. But uh, what I want to talk about is we as Christmas tree farmers or people that love real Christmas trees need to start educating the public about the benefits of Christmas tree farms. Uh, I've been watching comments online that I see from different people or people in public saying, what a shame you cut down that, Chris, that tree, it could have grown and uh, been much taller, you know, provided oxygen and all this other stuff. And uh, they think because it's a tree, they think of a forest, but this is not a forest product, this is a farm, uh, this is a crop. Okay, so yeah, we do need forests. I know we've been losing forests throughout the year and environmentally sensitive concerns, that's all good. But Christmas trees is a farm crop, just as these flowers are a crop that's planted in the field and raised and then cut and we use one time to decorate our house, so is a Christmas tree. Just as the celery or broccoli is grown on a farm, cut and used once and it's done, it's a farm crop. And so are Christmas trees. And so um, we are, if we were running around cutting the millions of Christmas trees that we have every year out of the forest and preventing them from growing, that would be one thing. But we are growing Christmas trees on farms and that is significantly different. And somehow we need to get the public to understand the benefits of having Christmas tree farms. Um, if you're speaking environmentally, one acre of Christmas trees is estimated pro uh, provides enough oxygen for 18 people. And that, that's wonderful. Um, also, so trees take CO2, carbon dioxide, <laughs> and turn it into oxygen for us to breathe. And they do this by absorbing carbon. And it's also estimated that approximately a thousand uh, pounds of carbon is absorbed each year by that same acre of Christmas trees. So when we're talking about a carbon footprint, having acres of Christmas trees is a really good thing as far as absorbing the carbon. So these are the types of things people need to understand. Also, um, as far as uh, economic impact, I have a very small Christmas tree farm, but on harvest days, I'll have a, usually eight young men that uh, have a part-time job with me to help harvest Christmas trees, help my customers and get them out, and it helps keep the local economy going. And uh, Usually I have young, either high school kids or college age kids that need a part-time job in the winter, and then it, it provides for employment for them. It, I think there's the uh, Christmas Tree Association says there's about 100,000 workers that work on Christmas tree farms in the United States every year. And so same thing in the summer, I have uh, young men that <laughs> need flexibility in their schedule to come out and shear my Christmas trees. So there's a wonderful impact there. So people need to understand that again, this is not cutting down forests, this is a crop that is grown intentionally for this and then harvested and used just as any other crop is. The other really nice thing about uh, Christmas trees is when they're done, it's estimated that 93% of all Christmas trees are recycled like I did mine today. If there's a place that we drop off at, in our town and the city brings a chipper shredder and shreds all the Christmas trees and then it provides mulch which is, are wonderful for your gardens, walkways and, and many other uses. My horticulture class has been the beneficiary of this before. They've brought out a truckload of uh, mulch, wood chips for us, that was all the Christmas trees uh, that were chipped. And so not only d does the Christmas tree provide oxygen and filter the air, and usually quite often it's uh, soil that's not that great of soil to be farmed, but Christmas trees will grow on it. So it's tying the soil and actually um, amending the soil. Christmas trees do all that while they're growing up, but after they're done, they're often mulched and then used to put back into the soil and either help grow another crop or uh, just keep the soil uh, moist and cool. Another positive thing about Christmas tree farming is there's always concern about water consumption and water rights and that type of thing. And uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, at least, God waters our trees for us uh, through June, and then they start to go into their dormant state. So we are typically, we typically don't water Christmas trees in this area. They're just planted out in the natural area and watered and grow on their own. So that's a, a really positive impact. Uh, when, you know, if a lot of people, People are switching to artificial Christmas trees, and if that's what they like, that's fine. But if they're doing it because they're doing an environmentally friendly thing, uh, they're missing the mark quite a bit. We're using, you know, plastics. Uh, I believe over 80% of the Christmas tree, uh, fake Christmas trees are produced in China. Uh, they, lots of chemicals in the production, a lot of plastics, and then it's shipped across 
the ocean to get here. And so um, if you think you're doing a, an environmentally friendly thing by getting a fake Christmas tree, think again. You need to uh, be buying a Christmas tree that is grown on a Christmas tree farm and is producing oxygen and stabilizing the soil in the areas around us. So anyway, I just wanted to put this out there. This is a beginning step. I, I'm thinking of doing more research and finding out more good points and maybe even trying to create a commercial of my own. I'm not really uh, into marketing, but uh, uh, we need to find a way to get more good information out there because there's a lot of bad information going out there. So once again, thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Hope to see you again soon, people. Be blessed.